Example six, draw a circle. Do you have the graph of a function or a relation? Every point on the circle is represented by an ordered pair. Does the graph of the circle pass the vertical line test? No, it does not. Vertical lines that intersect the circle, other than vertical lines tangent to the circle, intersect the circle in two points. You have more than one point on the vertical line, you don't have a function. Example seven, draw a horizontal line. Do you have the graph of a function or a relation? Every point on the line is represented by another pair x, y. Does the graph of a horizontal line pass a vertical line test? You bet it does. Because for every x, you have only one y. So yes, this is a function. Does every line represent a function? No. A vertical line does not represent a function. Only non-vertical lines represent functions. Okay, exercises. Suppose you have g of x, which is 2 and 1 over x, or I guess 2 times 1 over x. This doesn't look like a mixed number, so 2 times 1 over x minus 4x plus 9. Find g of 1, g of 0, g of negative 1, g of t, g of t minus 1. If for the function h, assuming that b is not equal to d is not equal to f, um, and assuming that uh, a and c and e are not the same, do we have a function? Mm, this is rather interesting. Depends on A, C, and D, e, I guess. How about H, which is the same thing, but B is not the same as C? Ooh, I don't know what this means. H is, again, you give an example, or oh, just give an example of a function. Give an example of a function. Okay, that's different and uh, give an example of a relation. Is the volume of a sphere a function of its radius, or is it a relation? Find a formula, a function, that gives the correct result for dosage of a medicine in terms of body surface area. The following is recommended. If the surface area is two square meters, the dosage is 10 cc, 3, 18, and so on, up to 4.5 and 30. Assume this function to be linear. And then draw a semicircle. Do you have the graph of a functional relation? Every point on the circle is represented by an ordered pair x, y. And then, does the graph of x, which is 2, depict the graph of a function or a relation? And finally, a plumber charges $90 to come to your property. The first half hour of repair is free. Isn't that nice of the plumber? Every half hour of repair beyond the first half hour costs $40. The plumber arrived at 1 p.m. At what time did he leave? Okay, remember you, you charge, you were charged, you were charged, uh, 40, you were charge, you were charge ninety dollars. No, what were you charged? Okay, the first hour of repair. First hour of repair cost forty dollars. You were charged. I see. Okay. But X represents the number of half hours beyond the first one that the plumber worked at the side. Let C of X represent the total charges. Express C of X as a function. If the total charges amounted to $290, I see. That's what I was looking for earlier. When did the plumber finish the repairs? So your total bill was $290. 
you pay $90 for the promo to come out. The first half hour is free. That's included in the $90. And then $40 for every additional half hour. The total is $290.